All right, everybody. Chicago Area News podcast today. The story we're going to be talking about and reading about is the Illinois Election Board this past Tuesday had voted to dismiss an attempt to remove former United States President Donald Trump from the state of Illinois' 2024 election ballot just one week before the issue is scheduled to go before the U.S. Supreme Court. The issue at hand has been, can the former president's role in the January 6th, 2021 attack on the U.S. Capitol disqualify him from returning to the Oval Office? Across the USA, there have been dozens of 14th Amendment challenges to Trump's eligibility to run for president. Many have been considered by courts, election boards, or secretaries of state over the past year. The Colorado Supreme Court and Maine's Secretary of State's have ruled that Trump is ineligible to appear on those two states' primary ballots due to the amendment's quote-unquote insurrection clause. Of course, not being on the ballot doesn't necessarily mean people cannot write Trump's name in, and he may in fact lead to a sympathy vote or protest vote in his favor, according to some political consultants. Catherine McCrory, one of the Republicans on the Board of Elections, voted to keep Trump on the ballot, but she also attacked him over January 6th. Quote, there is no doubt in my mind that he manipulated, instigated, aided, and abetted an insurrection on January 6th. However, having said that, it is not my place to rule on that today, she stated. So please stay connected and subscribe to free email updates from chicagoarianews.com. And this is Steve Tobin reporting.